into Aidan Walsh. Perry got four points in the second last match against Wexford. That one from a tight enough angle, and he's measured it perfectly. Down it goes towards Pat Ryan. Runs into Flanagan, and the big full forward, the UCD student, strikes it expertly. Christopher Joyce then letting it fly in there towards Patrick Horgan. Horgan's got it! Goal chance! It's another one for Patrick Horgan. Daniel Carney in here as far as Aidan Walsh. As far as Seamus Harnady now. Harnady over his left shoulder, travels in and travels over. Good connection by Dermot Burns, but he gives it away to Dan Dooley, who would love to score on his debut. Drops it in and drops it over to drive Limerick forward, down towards Pat Ryan. Picking it up here, scampering away from Stephen MacDonald, trying to catch him. There's a good shot! There's a brilliant goal by Peter Casey. Redeem himself, the final pass wasn't a great one on Limerick encounter. And it's going to be Burns, Burns knocking it in and knocking it over the bar. And move forward menacingly again to Flanagan. Flanagan about to be challenged, still gets that ball in. What a point! Oh, in trouble from that short puck out. Lehan missed one earlier on, he wasn't going to miss this one. O'Donoghue knocks it back out, but it's intercepted. And it's Kean Lynch right on the sideline, letting fly. Tricky angle for him, but what a lovely point that is by Kean Lynch. No free given. Comes back out again to Tom Morrissey. Knocked ahead to Darrow Donovan. Then it's Shane Dowling, 65 metres out from the court goal. Let's it off and lets it over the bar. Limerick have shown the character as well to come back, to draw a level, but foiled once again as Daniel Carney strikes from a huge distance out. Cork, two goals and 21 points. Limerick, one goal and 21.